Hey friends. Um, it is still cold and um, freezing outside. It is Sunday, we've gone to church and um, I've come home and had something to eat for lunch. And I'm working here at my desk and the whole time I was working, I was like, I should show everyone. I should show everyone how I'm doing this. That'd be fun, but then I was having too much fun doing it. And so then I did it. So I'm gonna backtrack and I'm gonna show you how I did what I just did. Um, because honestly, it goes to what we were um, doing yesterday. What I was showing you yesterday is all of these extra pieces of um, paper that I um, am not using for this other project. I'm gonna utilize um, in my note taking, but also I just used it to make my little um, notebook. I'll show you. Here, hang on one second. I have my scrapbook paper all down here along with all the kids. At least these ones are Ashley's yearbooks are stored down here. Have you seen this down here? Maybe some of you are new. This is all my scrapbook paper organized into little bins. These are like memory books, um, memory boxes, I should say, for the kids. And then you can ignore, that's camera equipment, uh, lighting equipment, and those are the empty bins from my shelves that just got reorganized. But my scrapbooking buckets down here, I'm using my camera to literally see what I'm doing right now because I can't see. But this is one of my scrapbooking paper bins. It's kind of like my favorite papers. The other ones are just kind of, they're all color coordinated. I even have them labeled purple, blue, orange, and yellow. But these ones are some of my favorite pages. Um, just this is kind of my last scrapbook book, like paper book that I bought way back when I was actually scrapbooking. And it just has really fun um, paper in it. Still kind of my, kind of my vibe. Um, and so I wanted to show you the process of what I just did. Okay, we're gonna backtrack. I'm, I made this, but I don't want you to see it quite yet. Um, I'm making a page like an intro page. This is for my YouTube um, checklist pages, okay? So I have this little notebook. It's just like this one where um, I have it bound at the store and then I use this as my checklist to work on my YouTube videos. This one I did and it was just plain paper. Did we even say hi to the day? I think I did. I think I said hi to the day. So anyway, I, I thought I saw this one and I was like, mm, we can do better than this. This was just the lazy way of doing it. So last year I just got out paper, added it to the stack, went and had it bound, and then I kept on working. This year I went through my little stack of paper. Ooh, that one would have, would have been a fun one. So let me just, we'll, we'll, we're gonna walk through another page for you, with you. Maybe I'll do a back page. Hmm, that'd be kind of cute. Maybe I'll do a back page. It's not gonna be as decorated, but we'll pretend, we're gonna pretend and decorate this one. Okay, so I had my page and I actually pulled out my little um, paper cutter. It's down here. I have like one of those big, like, like when you see it at the copy store or like your the teacher's classroom. <laughs> I have a big cutter down there. Like I said, I was big into scrapbooking and crafting and things like that in the day, back in the day. So then I went through just these little cards right here. Um, I'm gonna just kind of glance through some of these and we're gonna try and backtrack and show you how I went through this little process. So we're just gonna grab a bunch of these out. I have them kind of categorized. If you can see, I've kind of separated them. So like these guys right here all have like little sayings on them. And then these ones here are all just prints and different designs. Um, so let's see if we can, like the yellow on the green is kind of cute, right? Um, so that one just kind of, it's too close. Um, the gray's too boring. The green's too close. Okay, so if we did a yellow like that, then we would probably need like a primary color would be kind of cute like that, like a plain, not, you can do pattern on pattern. I like doing that. Like I said, that one, 
the green and the blue is kind of like off and I'm not really sure why. I did, I almost used this one right here, this camera one, for obvious, like, reasons, the YouTube. That one wouldn't quite work on here unless I did something like a plain color underneath it. Oh, see, and I'm getting ideas. See, I don't even know, like, half of what these um, cards are. Look at this. I have an okay. I have more ideas. We're gonna we're gonna do other ideas. Come, we're gonna we're gonna use this one, just as we're gonna forget that this folds here in the middle, and that there's other things on here. I'm using this just as a color, just as a base. But you could put something like this, like if it didn't have the words on it over here, then you could use the like a solid color here to kind of cover up. I don't know. Do you see what I'm going here? Oh, there we go. As kind of um, a background and a, a, a difference between these two. So you could do something like that and then, I don't know, then you could write some words here or something. Anyway, I went through all of these um, papers and came up with an idea. And then I went through my stickers and of course I came to my tropical stickers let me find the one I ended up using and I want desperately to go back and get more of these ones they only had one set at the store when I was there last so I might go get more because I loved these ones so now we've got paper stickers and like my back page right like we're not going to use these ones I'm just going to show you this is the process of what I went through and then I like map things out. Like I have, you know, like maybe I wanted to like put this up here as like the header page, kind of offset that. And then I want to say enjoy life. This is going to be cut smaller, but you get the idea. And maybe I'm going to put something else down here. Um, if I were really dedicated, I could actually start doing some photo printouts and whatnot, but I'm not. So. This is where it starts, and then once I kind of have my layout, I add the idea of like what stickers would look good where without placing them quite yet. You're like, okay, this bird is facing this direction, so I don't want to put the bird, I'm weird, I don't want to put the bird over here, because then he's going to be facing away from the page, and that feels lonely. <laughs> You're into my mind right now, you guys, but this bird is facing this way and I don't want to put him on this side of the page and have him face away from the page because what is he looking at? Is he lonely? No, we're gonna put this bird on this page on this side of the page so he can look in and it brings your eye in to the page. So just so you know, I don't know, that's how I kind of think of things, especially with like animals or things, stickers, sticker wise. And then I just kind of like, okay, what ones could I place where? But it's just kind of eyeballing it. And then I place everything on here with the washi tape. Comes out. Now I have another washi tape back in there. But I knew I knew what ones I wanted to use today. And I have like these really fun ones that I got online a little while ago. And I knew that I wanted these bright colors. You see why? Like all of colors are kind of going with the right vibe. Okay, grand reveal. Then I added... Um, the paper with the washi tape I kind of offset I actually should have done this color over here and the yellow over here um, just so that there was a different color on each one but I do like how it turned out and then again I have my bird he's still facing in because I'm gonna put I'm gonna put something right here I'm gonna put like some kind of a I don't even know what I might create is like my little logo, my little YouTube logo and print it out and like cut it out and put it right here. So he is facing that. But and then I've got a little, um, what do you call this? Flamingo right here. And she's looking over here um, toward the middle of the page. If she was over here, it would be better because she's looking at the whole thing. I don't know. I'm just kind of weird like that, you guys. But I do like kind of how it turned out. I do feel like I need to like write on it or write some kind of a message or like a photo but I don't have any photos right now 
but I do like kind of the general idea of it and it's just I'm not even going to see it very often only when I'm closed when I've closed the notebook but maybe maybe I'll close it more um, at the end of the day just so I can see this page um, so I don't know I just thought it was really cute I've had fun kind of putting it together but it also gave me the idea like how to use these cards like going forward in my notebooks and whatnot if we went to like a blank page and maybe I did like you know my little thing down here or you know if I've decorated the page with the idea that I had something like this that I needed to add to it maybe I'm putting it down here and it's like a separate list from like this stuff but then it needs to like I need to open it up and have like more written inside here I could even like attach this to the page like glue stick or get some actual scrapbook tape or whatever like the double-sided tape and actually attach the back part of this I don't know I'm just kind of talking it through with you guys because I haven't done this kind of stuff with my notebooks before but then that could like close up and I could even like put on a little paper clip or something and then it'll stay closed you know what I mean I don't know I'm just like coming up with all these ideas um, of how to add pages to this like how to utilize all these papers because I just think that they would be really cute like if I had like that and then even if I just did like a little border or put like even like a okay I'm just coming up with all these ideas even just like a sticky note cut out a sticky note so that it was kind of the size to fit inside here okay batteries keep dying on me apparently everything I had in my purse was dead because I keep putting new ones in from my purse anyway I could cut or get smaller little um sticky note pad you know sticky notes and then add it to here or like I don't know like I just think it'd be cute because if I needed like a separate list for right here but I wanted to like make it look cute or I don't know like oh and I also found let me just show you this is where I kind of got the idea from is it some of these pages well it's this page right here this one right here is like the calendar one I have a ton of those in that small size Let's see if I can find it and I just think that it would be really cute on a page Oh, where are they now? I mean, I was finding them like crazy before, but I don't know where they all went. But anyway, I think that would be really cute on like the first page of the month kind of a thing. I could do that and then I could actually put the the actual calendar on the page. Um, and then, I don't know, it would just be like an eyeball view, especially if you had like a busy month, then you could like even make little symbols or something even like I do have like a ton of stickers that are like like I don't do like planner stickering you know what I mean like where they have I'll show you or like teeny tiny stickers of course this one doesn't have it I'll show you what I mean here eventually where where do I have one that has like yes like this one does where they have like teeny tiny stickers like these like these right here where it's like grocery store or meal plan or um, let me find some other ones. They just have little teeny tiny stickers that I don't tend to use. Yeah, like these guys. Oh, those aren't even that small. But I could like add those stickers to like the little calendar if there was like a special thing on a certain date or whatever. I don't know. It's like bringing scrapbooking into like my day-to-day -day, like planning and making it kind of fun you know and if I had maybe maybe I don't think I'm asking for anything for my birthday actually I did think of one thing that I asked for for my birthday it's just kind of fun and funny um but if I ever saved up a little bit of extra money the girls all got those sticker printers and photo printers for Christmas uh, well Kaylee and Chelsea did a sticker printer would be kind of cool uh, or even like the photo one because I could print out fun little photos like it could become like a little uh, well but see here's the other thing that I thought of doing when I it could become like more of a like a memory book type thing with along with my you know daily and weekly um, like uh, note-taking and list making and whatnot 
but I actually thought way up there, that basket way up there, has all of those empty notebooks. I'm not a big journal writer. I'm not, I'm not a big journal writer. But I've been thinking about it lately just because I have a lot going on in my head. There's a lot of stuff that I don't like talk to you guys about because it's very, very personal. And, but it's like the stuff is all in here. And Jason obviously lets me talk to him and I have very, uh, a few friends that I get to talk to about things. Um, they're very, very private. They're very personal. My circle of friends has had to shrink because I don't, the level of trust has shrunk. <laughs> I'll just be honest. And so it's like these things are in my head and I, I think that's part of the reason why I make lists because I need to get things out of my head and onto paper and especially like into a list and a check off and I'm done with it or you know that kind of a thing or plan and prepare make something and get excited about it you know but maybe I need to take one of those maybe I take that girls just want to have fun one that cute one right up front a tropical one it's really inspiring anyway, that, that cute print. Um, and I start journal writing. And I could add cute little stickers and decals to those pages, just like I do for like my daily, like weekly note, or you know, list making. But make it more of a journal type thing. And it doesn't matter if I do it every single day, it's just when I need to get the thoughts out of my head. It's very personal, I wouldn't share it with anyone but maybe Jason or very, very close friends, but um, it would be a way for me to get it out of my head, but it also could be a place where if I did have a way of like printing little photos like in, from their little printers, they were only like a hundred bucks. So I could down the line, I got to pay off a few things. <laughs> um, I could get one of those little printers and I could print off cute little pictures just of our daily life along with you know putting those into our journal. I spend a lot of time with Ashley, but I would like to like do a mini document of like the other girls, you know, just in photo form and have a chance to just take photos with my phone and use the app and have them printed off um, just to get and capture daily life a little bit more. Anyway, this is what goes on in my head. And at, when I cleaned out my desk and I decorated up here um, and found these other scrapbook supplies like all of these bins and stuff I was like this is really cute stuff and I need to utilize it and I could have a lot of fun with it and I clearly have because that's all I've been doing since I got home today <laughs> is having fun with it so and it's a waste of money just sitting on my shelf so I'm just trying to think of how I can use it and um, not have it go to waste Okay, my car has been acting funny and haven't had good access to it. So I've been, I'm, I just came out to um, plug it in, but check out the sunset. Look how pretty, it looks like cotton candy. So pretty. It is so cold out here. I'm gonna go inside, yeah. but it's so pretty. All right, so something that we keep running into the past, what, two and a half days? Three. No, it started after two, anyway. I'm gonna have you turn around. So we don't know Do what. Do my neck first. My neck. Show your neck first. Okay. Well, there's not any welts right now. Okay. We keep breaking out in hives. So she's got them going on currently. Did you just put cream right here? Yeah, I saw some. No, no. Let me show your back. I'm not gonna show your front. But you can see the scratch marks here and here. Well, these are leftover welts. But her whole back, bend forward. This is all the, the oh, remnants. Too. This is the current one here. This is a current one. You can see all these rashes. So it's on my lower back, but like breaking out. It could just be, look at me, because I don't want to show your neck down. <laughs> We're trying to like minimize the clothing on. Um, it's also on my feet. Yeah, it's also on her legs, her feet. And like so, feet. but we don't know. It could just be a but virus. Kaylee has so it. I she isn't even here. Kaylee is. For, I've been around well, I've whatever. Kaylee has it over at Jacob's house. She's got breaking out in hives over at Jacob's house. Um, well, but Chelsea has been. Quarantine. Chelsea has been having um, 
have bad allergies and so she has been taking a regular daily allergy pill and the Benadryl it's just a generic Benadryl one every single day and every the Benadryl one every night so I think she's not having any kind of a reaction yes I know it's breaking out down there um, because she's just on the medicine but she'll actually had to take two Benadryl last night more than the dose that she should have which I know from growing up it's not a big deal my dad is a pediatrician it's not a big deal um, but we don't know what this is being caused by she's had what four showers in the past day and a half so no, I had three showers. she's changed her clothes at least four times. So it's not clothing contact. It's not dust contact. It's not an allergic reaction to different foods because nothing is different that we've eaten. I just eat the same thing every day. Yeah, you eat the same thing every single day. But we have run out of cortisone cream, right? Where's the one we currently have? Is it gone now? Is that why it was in the garbage maybe? Because it's gone? I, I, I anyway, we run out of cortisone cream, and knowing that Kaylee is reacting over at Jacob's and yeah, coming back like, home, like this much left if it was just so the Jason meat. is gonna go and take a run to Target. Get two of them so we don't have to share it. It would be nice to have one down here and one upstairs. So just get two and of them. Also when we wouldn't want to have to share. And I'll, no, also if we break out, <laughs> stop. If we break out in the middle of the night, we don't have to I know, I'll get it. Did you go check my Yeah, room? anyway, I keep it by my bed, and they would come into me, which is fine. But Kaylee and Abby can keep one Anything in their room. Anything else I should get? Everyone's talking. No, this is an emergency run to Target. We're out of, uh, uh, the, what's that milk stuff? Okay, this isn't a regular grocery run. Airline? He's going to go get medicine, and he'll be right back, okay. right next to you. All right. Woo. Um. It has been a little while. Um, Ashley, are your hives? Because I put a pound of cortisone. She's done a lot of cortisone. And we got a little bit of a sympathy snack when Dad went to the store. Ashley, you need to come and load. Um, we have day off school tomorrow. It's Martin Luther King Day. Yeah, Ashley, if you can load these dishes, we can start those. We're going to take... Did you take this one already? So that one is one a day. And then you need to take another one of these guys. I, already did. I know, but you can take it in an hour or so. We're gonna take another one of these. Um, it's like a Benadryl, um, so that she doesn't get more hives overnight. Um, that was another snack. Apparently, Dad got for himself. I want dishes done. I'm gonna get Chelsea down here to do the counters, wrap up our Sunday night. Um, but it will be really nice. None of us have plans tomorrow. I just want to sleep in, um, yeah, be nice. right? It was so nice. Even now we have later church and it was nice to sleep in a little bit. Um, so tomorrow nothing is on deck. We don't even have Costco open to go to Costco. Are you sure? Alexa, is Costco open tomorrow? Look at that. It's open on Martin Luther King Day. All right, so now I wasn't planning on going. So now I need to just double check like milk levels and whatnot. So, um, and clean out the fridge, apparently. You guys, if you have not tried these, this is what I had for dinner. I had this and a bowl of broccoli. Um, this stuff is so good. Kaylee loves it too. That's why I'm keeping it here in the fridge. Usually I hide it in the outside fridge, but she really likes that. Um, we're on the last of Ashley's antibiotic for her ears. So we're, that one's looking on the mend. Um, so anyway, we're going to close that with you. Probably a short video. Just, I didn't anticipate filming today, but I was having fun working on my little project. I will show you the end result tomorrow after I get it all put together in my little notebook. And if I start my little journal notebook, I'll let you know how that's going. So signing off with you. Oh, we just watched Sister Wives. I think that's the last one of the season. Yeah, yeah we just watched Christine get married to David. And that was fun to watch. And I loved watching Janelle, if you guys watched it. <laughs> it was a great wedding. Um, it was great for the kids. Um, even Janelle's kids to say it was really nice to have the family back together again. And like, you know, it makes you choke up to realize that the family has kind of taken the brunt end of, like it's, I know this is a TV show, but like these are real kids and real families. 
and it's fun to see the kids like all back together again and having fun and being so happy for their mom and their moms, I guess you could say. Um, but it was also really fun to see Janelle. I'm trying to open this like child proof <laughs> bottle, but it was also fun to see Janelle make a few digs at Cody. <laughs> Ash, come get this, hun. Does it say on here what date we started this? What day did we get this? Was it? Then you're done, kiddo. Seven days? Eight, then you're done. Anyways, I don't know why they give you so much of this. You're done, my friend. All right. Um, I think that's it. Um, come see what we're up to tomorrow. My Mar Martin Luther King Day. And to see if we keep having hives. And uh, see what we get up to. This is all like our medicine cabinet that's going to go up to bed with us tonight. <laughs> Um, but take care. We'll see you guys next time.